Welcome back everybody, so my next movie review for you is Annabelle Comes Home. I have literally just finished watching this movie and yes, I am actually entertained by it. It does have a couple of flaws which are just personal views of mine, which I'll get into in a minute. But generally as a whole, yeah, I really did enjoy this movie. So in this next installment from in the Annabelle franchise, this time the Warrens have got hold of the Annabelle doll and hellbent on making sure it is not anywhere near the public any more to save it from causing any more chaos and carnage and death so they take it back to the house and put it into their museum where they've got all these haunted cursed trinkets and items that they've collected over the years they put the annabelle doll into this holy cabinet and they get it blessed and basically that is that until later on in the movie where annabelle wakes up and then all the chaos and carnage starts to happen in the warren household where we get introduced also to the main three characters in this movie which is judy mary and daniela so this movie what do i honestly think about it right okay like i said there is a couple of flaws in this um it the, for the first hour of this movie i did find myself in certain areas getting a little bit bored when i was doing watching this movie i always have a pad next to me and i write down certain notes and in this i actually started do doodling in the first hour it wasn't until about the 50 minute to an hour mark is when this whole movie kind of changed for the better i'm not saying that the beginning is crap and i didn't enjoy it i just said that some parts were just a little bit long-winded which just made me just lose my concentration in this movie just slightly the also the beauty of this first hour is see when this movie started i kind of it didn't really waste any time into getting some action. I thought, if this is the standard of this movie is going to go, then, you know, I'm quite happy with this already. Unfortunately, it was just a slight, it was just to start off the movie. It was to set up this plot line for this movie as well. And Lorraine Warren in this says one line, which I'm not going to tell you, just in case you haven't seen this movie, which basically tells you the whole plot of this movie. And to be fair, I get why they did it, because the plot in this, in places, is pretty much non-existent. It mainly just focuses on the chaos which is being caused in the Warren household it, yeah. at night. And to be fair, I get it. And that one line literally just sets up that whole kind of movie. There are a couple of other plot lines, subplot lines going on in this, which I'm just about to get into, in the form of Judy, who is the Warren's daughter. When you get introduced to her character, you do pick up that she possibly has some abilities or she is being affected by something. She is subject to a bit of bullying at school, which is a result of her parents and an article which is featured in the paper. There's obviously this hoax or real. And that is the article that is in the paper. And you can see this clearly affects her. And this is only the bullying has only started since this article happened, which I get it, you know, you know, with paranormal investigators, there are skeptics out there, there are believers out there. I was once a paranormal investigator, I still got my hand in the paranormal a little bit, and you're always going to get people who think it's a hoax, or they think it's fake, or and then you get people that think it's real. So I get where it's coming from, and people are quite vocal when it comes to this kind of stuff, especially if they don't believe. So I get the storyline there, and I get what they were trying to do, and they did work it really, really well. And... As the movie goes on, and I'm I'm talking about her quite a lot because I'm the reason why I'm talking about this the daughter quite a lot is because she is by far probably the best performance in this whole movie. I really enjoyed her from start to finish. With the chaos that everything is going on, she is still there. Is a few moments where she does lose it a little bit, but she is like the other two's guide to help them through this night and to try and stop what's going on in this house and to be fair what's going on in this house is actually pretty good which i can't really talk about because i don't want to give away spoilers but generally as a whole yes it, she is by far in this movie my my favorite character in this now moving on to mary who is basically babysitting uh judy while the warrens are actually away probably studying another case i probably missed that they probably said it but she hasn't she is a very good she is a good character in this one but there's not much backstory to her all i know is is that she's got asthma and she's babysitting the daughter of the warrens and she has a crush on a guy that works in a store who store there and that's pretty much her backstory literally she is 
just the babysitter who has to deal with what's going on in that house at the same time. Now moving on to Daniela in this. Um, her her character in this is actually I I did quite enjoy as well. She is the cause and the, of all the problems which goes on in that house. But there is an underlying story here, and I don't want to give away too much. I'm really struggling, but she basically causes everything to happen in this uh, in this movie. And I like what they did because there was just there was good intent to what she was doing. But unfortunately, she got overcome by kind of um, what's the what's the word I'm looking for? Temptation, basically. And they really played it out well. And she did have quite a good role. She does take quite a lot of uh, abuse in this movie. And you know, there's a cracking scene with the TV there. Um, and I, it, I'm not, I can't give away too much to be fair. And there's another great scene with a. I was really struggling. I'm really struggling not to say anything because I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it. If you have seen it, you know exactly what I'm about. Her character was actually really, really good, and she does get a little bit of closure towards the end of this movie. Those three main characters have to go through quite a lot after that hour mark, and to be fair, the the beauty about these movies and like this is I always look for jump scares. So there was points in this movie it's like the jump scare come in there and nothing happens, and then all of a sudden. Out of nowhere, boom, there's a jump scare, just like that for you. And, you know, I like that. I like what they did with that kind of thing. So, like, there's certain moments in this where you go, yeah, it's building for a jump scare. You're waiting for it, and I like that. I want to see what it is, and it never come. And then all of a sudden, it come out of nowhere, which I absolutely love, to be fair. There are many different elements about this movie, which I love, and I cut it if this movie wasn't as new as what it is, and I knew that everybody had probably seen it, then I would give away spoilers on this. I'm just trying my hardest to not to give away too much. Generally, as a whole, this movie is an entertaining watch and has probably one of the best endings as well. I actually really, really enjoyed that ending. There is no setup for another movie either. It is almost like this movie is closure to this franchise. To be fair, you could probably go back and probably revisit it a little bit and do another movie like that, but a continuation of this storyline, there is no continuation. This is literally a closure. It felt like a closure kind of movie. And like I said, it's got one of the best endings. I, I, I Even I got a little bit emotional by that, you know, and it just really, it was a good finish to a very good movie. I wouldn't say like the ending was very anticlimactic. I would say it was just right for what they needed to do. How they stopped Annabelle, I actually really, really enjoyed it. It took them all to do it, but it was just how it worked. The way this was shot as well, I enjoyed it. The way some of the special effects were done, you was like, whoa, you know, some bits do make you jump. Nearly gave away a little bit of the story there, but I managed to stop myself. But generally, as a whole... I really enjoyed that movie. The only bugbear I got is, like I said, and it's not even really a bugbear because it didn't really affect my overall view of this movie. It's just I just felt that the first hour was just a bit slow. There was just certain scenes in there where it was seriously dragged out when you think something's going to happen and there's a lot. And it just They just dragged it out just a little bit too much. But apart from that, it is an, an entertaining watch. So if I was to review it, I was to give this a rating, I would go, yep, it's an enjoyable watch. I highly recommend this. I would quite happily watch this again. We've got kids outside coming down my road, so sorry about the screaming. Um, and yeah, and if I was to rate it even out of 10... I would give this 8 out of 10, maybe 7, 8 out of 10. And that's only because of the bits. The first hour is just runs a little bit slow. Some of the scenes are just overstretched a bit too much. That is all this, all the problem is for this movie. Apart from that, it's an entertaining watch. And knowing that there is some of the Annabelle movies and not the it's not The Conjuring. It could be The Conjuring. Might be, I can't remember. But part of this, there's some that I like and there's some that I don't like. I mean, I like the last, I liked Annabelle Creation, and I loved, I actually generally like this one. They did put a bit more time in this, and a little bit more work into this movie, which just made it a better movie for me. So, on that note, please tell me what you think, put it in the comments down below as normal. I hope you all have a great rest of the day, whatever you're doing. Please take care, and goodbye.